example, um, I'm going to show you the steps of the cell membrane lab so you can follow along, fill in the information, the data, and do the answer or the questions at the end. So what we're looking at are um, eggs, chicken eggs, and we soaked them in vinegar, I did for five days or so, and now you can see if I rub them, you can see the shell starts to dissolve. Sorry, I don't know where my camera is. There we go. The shell starts to dissolve and it reveals the cell membrane beneath it. See that little bit there? So what I did is I we need at least three eggs to do this demonstration. We dissolved the shell, removed the shell, and ended up with three raw eggs with no shell. So what we're going to do now is use the cell membrane to demonstrate the process of osmosis. So I have the document on the, on the sheet here. So the first thing you want to do is look up the prefixes hyper, iso, and hypo, and the words, the terms, hypertonic, isotonic, and hypotonic, and put them over here on the right side of the chart. Okay, so do that. Stop, record, stop the recording. Go ahead and fill those in and then resume. Okay, so once, you're, once you do those definitions and you have a little bit better understanding of those terms, then I'll show you that what we did with the eggs. So we did step one and two, dissolve the shell, remove the shell, the, the rest of it by rubbing it. And then I labeled three glass cups. It could be glass, it can be plastic. As long as they're the same size, doesn't really matter. And as long as they're big enough to hold a cup of liquid and the egg without overflowing. So I used um, <laughs> I used a mason jar for canning. It seemed to be the perfect size. Okay, I used three of those. So I labeled one hypertonic, one isotonic, and one hypotonic. And I filled them according to the recipe here, you could say. So in the hypertonic, I poured in one cup of corn syrup. And that's something that most people have right in their kitchen, corn syrup. This is the type with molasses, so it's brown. I wish I had clear. It would have been a little prettier to see the egg, but this works. So I poured a cup of that in, in one of my, in my cup labeled hypertonic. And then in the, the cup labeled isotonic, that's a mixture of one and a half tablespoons of corn syrup. And then I filled the measuring cup up with water to one cup. And then in the third, the hypotonic, is just one cup of water. So they all have the same volume. They all have one cup of liquid. Just one of them's pure corn syrup, one of them's pure, pure water, and one was a mixture of the two. And then I gently place the raw shellless egg into each solution. And I only broke two doing it, so, so that's good. But let me show you what they look like. So here's the hypertonic. You can see the egg is um, keeps popping up a little bit, but it's in the pure corn syrup. And then the isotonic is in the mixture of sugar or, or um, corn syrup, which is the sugar, and water. And then the hypotonic is in the pure water. Ah, there you go. So now I'm gonna put them in my refrigerator and wait 24 hours and come back and see what happened. So I'll resume this video in 24 hours. Oh wait, before I do that, excuse me, I want you to go down to the data table and make your predictions. What do you think is gonna to happen to the egg in the hypertonic? what's going to happen to the one in the isotonic, and what's going to happen in the hypotonic. You, you cannot lose points here. The only way you lose points is if you don't do a prediction. I don't care if your prediction's right or not. It's a, it's a hypothesis. You're predicting what's going to happen. So you can see it's six points. So one for each prediction, and then tomorrow, you'll re, or you'll do it right after this, but I have to wait 24 hours, but you'll put down what actually happened, what your observations are, 
and then we'll work on the conclusions, what the heck happened and why and all that stuff and how is this all related to osmosis. So for today, just do your predictions and then um, you'll be able to resume right after you're done because this video will be done by the time you get it. Okay.